All right, let's get going. Let's take those shoulder rolls to the back and to the front, and then take a big reach and squat. Reach, squat. We want to get nice and low on those squats. Increase our range of motion. And then we're going to take our feet wider and do a big circle arm with those squats. So on this one, I want to try to drop my hips more. That, those thighs, inside of those thighs, stretching. We'll do about one more of these. And then we're going to bring it into reverse lunges. Now taking it to lateral lunges, reaching over. Again, you feel this more in the hip adductor, the inside of that thigh, pushing your hips to the back. That will warm up your back at the same time. So we have that forward hinge motion. And taking it into a curtsy lunge. So knees one behind the other, but it does cross over a little more. If it, if you have knees that bother you, you can just stay with regular reverse lunges. Go low on this one. So once you get in position, drop it down. And one more. Single leg reach is our next move. So right hand reaches toward the left leg, taking our time, and then we'll switch. When we reach across the body like this, we activate more of the core and the brain. Trying, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not so solid on my right leg today, but trying not to let that back hip rotate open. So you want to keep your knees and your toes facing down. And we try not to rest these, especially on the up. Good. All right, moving into inchworms. Come to the edge of your mat, forward fold, looking at those legs, walking your hands out. I'm going to drop to my knees for my first push-up. And then come back up for a big drag and fly stretch each side. Taking the foot outside the hand, opening up at the chest, and walking back in. I'm going to do four of these. Don't you love this nice, humid weather mid-December in Austin? <laughs> Like, how do we, I feel that, I feel all the humidity inside my house this morning. Maybe that's generated from my sweat from last hour. <laughs> all right, we have one more, or I have one more. And when you're done with this swim, we're going to take it into bird dogs. So for bird dogs, I'm going on all fours, pulling my abs in, extending long. We'll do about four more, trying to keep that body from rotating. And last one. I like to come up without using our hands. So come on up and then take a front back walk, getting nice and low, bending those knees, getting to the ground.
All right, starting our one minute cardio right here. I'm gonna start with the front back run. So just run it front and run it back. Run it front and run it back. We're using our own music today. So if you're just hopping on and you don't hear any music, I'm recording today. Yeah. <laughs> So play your favorite tunes or sing some Christmas songs in your head, right? Okay, so karaoke is crossing it over and back. And back to that front back run. And then finishing with some speed skaters, bending that knee, getting that strength of the leg along with balance by adding it over and down, over and down, a little extra bend, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> Walk it out. Take your inhale and exhale. I'm going to grab a drink. Because our first set <clears throat> is 10 minutes long and we won't take a water break in it. So grab a drink now, you'll be set to go. I want you to use your heavy weights if you can. Our timer is 45 seconds. I know that's kind of long for heavy weights. If you burn out, you can put them down. But I think you're going to be okay on most of it. Uh, there's a few times I'll tell you to lighten up. Our first exercise is a suitcase deadlift. That's where the weights are out to the side of your feet. So kind of pull them toward your heels, not in front of you. Slightly different. Okay, get those heavy weights. Roll your shoulders back and down. Here we go. So our weights go trying to kind of reach back toward our heels. And when you get that nice flat back, I want you to Drive from your backside, bend your knees a little more to push yourself up. Good. Just like you're picking something up off the ground, but it's on the outside of your feet. It's a suitcase. I know all of our suitcases have rolling handles, but you know, imagination, it's still a good thing. We have one more. Okay, our next exercise is swings. So I want you to go heavy. I'm gonna, I have my heavy weights. I'm gonna put them together. And we have 45 seconds of swings. Ready, go. Of course, if you have a kettlebell, that's great. Or a heavier weight. Here's the deal with this set. We will not be repeating these exercises. So yes. They're hard, but they're only a one and done. We got it. Whew. Eight seconds, stay with it. Almost there. Oh, weights down. <clears throat> Next, we're doing a halo squat. We'll have one weight holding here, halo squat. Grab a heavy, grab your heavy weight. Ready, go. Halo squat, other direction with the halo. So when we're doing our halo, squeeze your glutes. It's anti-rotation in the core while that force makes you want to rotate. You want to have a lot of movement. We're not. We're staying stable. Great for the core. It's your own core resistance work.
Even up your sides and you'll be done. Woo. All right, weight gets to go down. We're doing kill the quad. If you wanna fold your mat over, you can. Your back leg is just gonna go tap and up. All right, ready? Same leg, tap, lift, tap, lift, yep. You don't really need to fold the mat because you shouldn't hit hard, but just in case, one more and we switch legs. Switch, go. Try to get all the way to a tap if you can. Shift that weight back. Try to let that kneecap tap the ground. I know, it can be a goal to work towards. Two more. Last one. Woo. Shaking it out. Okay, we are gonna grab both weights. I'm undoing my mat. Push, press. Press, try to go heavy. You're gonna add a little hop. It's time. Let's go. Squat, lift. Good. Woo! If you're coming off the ground, keep going. Good, try to come off the ground just slightly. It'll be so good for your cellular regrowth, so good for your bones. Love it, pull those abs in as you lift. Probably have time. Well, I, I better not say how much, how many more reps you can do. Oh. Keep going, almost there, five seconds. One more. Oh, yeah, awesome. So the next one is just a sumo squat. Nothing fancy. You definitely wanna go heavy. Knees and toes turn out. Heavy weights pull you down. Let's do it. Go. Now focus on the underneath side of your thighs. As you lift, you wanna be driving from right here. So put your brain right under, and it's helping you lift. Tuck those hips slightly under. The bad thing about me not playing music is you hear all my heavy breathing. <laughs> I'll try to slow it down. I don't know. Whew. We have one more down and up. Okay, this one may not be your heaviest. Front and laterals. I'm grabbing a little bit lighter. All shoulder work. Ready? Squeeze those glutes. Go. Lift. And to the side. We only need to come up as high as our shoulders. So no need to go higher. And abs are in. Glutes and thighs are tight. Woo! Challenging, but remember, it's only one step. Ah. We got this. We're gonna finish it strong. There's 10 exercises in this set. I think we're on seven, so getting close. We're on the back side for sure. One more. Woo! Oh, face down. We're gonna do that sumo position ballet hops. So we're gonna pulse three times, pointy toe jump. Let's go. Three, two, one, point to toes and jump. So I like to use my arms because it helps me lift a little higher, get that vertical. Just coming off the ground, even slightly again. So good for the bones. Obviously, you know it's great for the muscles. <laughs> Everything we're doing is great for the muscles. Woo! Oh. Okay, we're gonna go into straight hops. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 
I know. It's challenging. We only have a couple more exercises and then we'll get a break. We're gonna go sumo. <laughs> that was a halo. We're gonna pass here and halo again. Heavy weight, passing behind the knee, only changing hands behind your knee. Go pass, halo. Pass behind the knee, change hands behind the knee only. Don't change hands overhead, you'll get confused. Another opportunity to do your rotation in the core. So stay tight in those abs. Keep it going, I'm gonna watch a few. These look really good. Last one. Okay, final exercise. You might want to match doubled up. It's gonna be with your weights, it'll be down, down, up, bicep curl. All right, grab heavies if you can. We'll alternate legs. Ready, go. So we go down, down, up, up, curl. Oh yeah, that was fun. Other leg, down, down. Whatever leg you lead on the down, you also come up on that one. Down, down, up, up, and curl. You got it. If it's too much on your knees, you can just do squat and curl. We have 15 more seconds. We wanna work them. Ugh. On this next one, curl only. Stand and curl. Four more. Four. Three. They should be heavy. Two. And one. Woo! Nice. All right, waist down. That is your water break. You earned it. Nice job. Okay, our, I'm grabbing my towel. Put it, left it over here. Our next part is a different kind of flow. So we're dumping our timer and we're going switching to a rep count. We're gonna start with 15 reverse flies. So we'll be right here for 15 of those. I'm not going with my heaviest, so I'm just saying, but if you can, go for it and then switch off. You know what, I'll do that. I'll start heavy and if I need to switch off, I will. Your trainer shouldn't be so wimpy, right? All right, roll your shoulders back and down, hinge forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, just five to go. Whew. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. Oh, that was a little challenging for me, but it showed me I was definitely needed the challenge. Okay, next we're gonna do a lawn mower pull. So you're gonna reach one arm and pull up, reach and pull. I know it's gonna feel just a little hard on that first arm because of what you just did. So grab one weight, you had a good rest. Okay, stay it on the same side. Reach and pull. I know everyone has a push start lawnmower now, but go to the olden days, start your lawnmower. Abs are in, keep going. We have 15, that's probably eight. Strong, abs in. Good. Oh. 
nice. That was 15, I think, for most of us. Switch sides. Woo, got to keep them even. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're doing great. Ten. Nice form. And probably number 15. Woo. Next, we will do the single leg reach, just like we did in the warm up, except with our heavy weights. So we're going to go ahead and hold both weights and do the single leg reach. Got them? All right, alternating legs. Here we go. Coming up and switching. These look good. Oh, I'm counting them one, one. Did you wonder about that? So this is six. So this is my nine and nine. After 10 and 10, I'm going to put my weight down, one weight down, hold it in my right hand, and my right leg is going back for five. Let's go. Five, four, this to make our, our 15, three, two, one, and switch. Let's go. Woo. Oh, so good. All right, next exercise, scarecrows. We're standing tall and we're gonna let those arms go out and in. I don't know which weight to tell you. <laughs> you choose. All right, go hard. Ready, go. One, keep your shoulders down. Palms face the back. We can stand up straight. 15 of these. Woo. One more. Ah, okay, we're going into that lunge position. Split stance squat. You can put your weights at your shoulders if you like. One leg staying in front. Let's go. One, down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze that back leg, butt and thighs. And pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, switch legs. We did 15 singles, 15 pulses. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, time to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, waist down. Nice job. We're going to transition to our mat. We will be coming back up later, but right now we're going to our mat for a chest press. So heavy on your chest press. Chest is a strong muscle group. We're going to put our legs on an imaginary chair before we lift those arms. So like knees straight over hips, feet straight out from knees, abs in. If it's too much on your back, put your feet down. All right, palms up, facing up, fingers, toes relaxed. Go, pull and push. Good. Keep those abs in, keep the hips tucked under. We're not arching, back is in neutral spine. This is 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Oh, okay, we're gonna move into wipers next. I'm staying with my heavies. Arms up, legs up. Legs are primary movers. Pretend like these are. this is a bar and not dumbbells, so you can't tilt your hands over. Let's go. One, two, trying to get those legs as far as they'll go to the side. If it bothers your back, bend your knees more. Five, Whew. seven, eight. <sighs> Ten. Don't you love these ones? Ones. Oh. <sighs> Woo! It's the last one. Fifteen and fifteen. <sighs> Weight down. We're gonna turn over. Oh. All right. Turn it over. I know, that's the way I feel too, just so you know. Now, we're gonna go on, you can either do these on your hands or your forearms. I want you to take one weight behind your knee. This is for the glutes and hamstrings. I'm gonna go right here, squeeze that weight tight, you don't wanna lose it, and just go and lift and lower. And I'm gonna try to flatten my foot up toward the ceiling, not rotate out my hip. All right, let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the toes relaxed. Squeeze the glute as you lift. Twelve. We're going to pulse, so don't quit. Fourteen, fifteen. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, now if we're gonna do something else before we do the other side. So move the weight and come down to that tricep press up. This is where the thumbs go right under the chest, the elbows go back, kind of go to a cobra position. We have 15 of these for the back of the arms. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oh, those are so much harder than they look. Okay, that weight goes behind the other leg. Got to be even, Stephen. Want to know something exciting? This is the last one in this set. All right. 
Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's time to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. So I told you that was the last one in that set, which is super good. But oh no, and I <laughs> I lied. We have one more exercise. I'm like, wait a minute, something is wrong. Yes, what is wrong is that your trainer lied to you. But all that is left is a plank runner. So we're going to our forearms. You'll understand why I figured how I figured that out in just a moment. Oh, but I'm not telling you yet. Okay, so in your plank, we're gonna drop a knee, drop a knee, drop a knee. Before you do that, pull your abs in tight. Ready, go. One, two, three. You don't actually have to touch. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! That really was the last one in that set. But so that was the good news. Here's the even better news. We're gonna repeat that set, working backwards. Yay! So we're gonna do what we just did, a plank runner. So all our workout is today is going right back through, not through that 10 minute first set. We're, we are never doing that again. I, that was a true promise. We're just going from here all the way to the reverse flies. All right, let's do it. Too much talk time, right? All right, hold your plank. One, plank runners, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo, hold the plank and come down. <sighs> All right, back to the weight behind the knee. That's how I realized, I was like, wait a minute. If I was starting over going backwards, I'd be repeating this one twice in a row. That wouldn't be good. But thankfully we had plank runners to give this leg a rest. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. I couldn't get the one out. Remove the weight, tricep press ups. Oh, thumbs under chest, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, and 15. Oh. Okay, weight under the other, behind the other knee. We got this. The less rest we take, the sooner we get done. There's my motivation. All right, ready, <laughs> go. One, two, three, four, five. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. We're turning over after you remove the weight. 
Definitely remove the weight first. <laughs> We're going to wipers. Somebody last hour told me she had never hated wipers more than she did today. That's so sad. I love wipers. Mm. Maybe not love them this way as much. Here we go. One. Two. Three. How about that core? Oh. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. It's always good when you pass the halfway mark. No. Ten. Oh. Twelve. Fourteen. And fifteen. And fifteen. Woo. We have chest press. 15 chest press. All right, ready? Get that form. Knees over hips. Feet straight out from knees. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm good. Oh. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Oh, yeah. So we're going to come to our feet. I'd love for us to do it without using our hands, if possible. You can do it any way you want. I mean, well, you need that. Okay, I'm grabbing a drink before I do our standing, finish with our standing. Ooh, we gotta hustle. All right, so we're going right into a lunge. You can put your weights at your shoulders or at your side. One leg back. We got a hustle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take time to go low. Eight. Good. These are kind of quick. Okay, we got to pulse it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, nice and quick. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got too much stuff in the way on my floor. Nine, 10, 11. I know they're kind of quick, that's okay. 15, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Scarecrows, standing up nice and straight, squeezing your glutes, here we go. One, two, three, four, And for the triceps, woo, 15, 14, and 15, weights down. Okay, I don't know why I said weights down. We have single leg reach. We're not, we're, let's pick our weights up again, heavy weights. I think I put my weights down because I had lighter ones for scarecrows. My scarecrows were too scary. 
Okay, we're gonna stay on one leg. One leg, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, put one weight down. So right hand, right leg moves. Just seven of them, go. One, two, it's a little more balance required. And switch, that was seven, switch arms and legs. We're reaching across so we engage the core and the brain. Makes our balance, it's a little harder balance move. That's a good thing. Also, this way helps our back hip not to turn out. Probably have one more. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do our, instead of a lawnmower pull, we're gonna do a sumo pull. Both arms, 15 total, same time. If you need to alternate your arms, you can. Try to go heavy. Ready, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, oh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo! All we have left is reverse slides. We are so almost done. All right. Ready, grab your weights, shoulders back and down, final exercise. If you have to go, sorry I ran long, but awesome job. Hopefully you'll stretch. Let's go. One, two, three, four, come on, finish strong, six, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo! Weights down. I am gonna do some stretches with us. I'm gonna do them standing. So if you can stretch, stay with me. If you need to go, you did awesome stretches. You hit the shower. Okay, so I'm putting the front foot of the front part of my foot on a weight. You could also do this calf stretch on the ground. I'm stretching my calf and my shoulder. I'm gonna pull across right here. When you're out of breath like I am, it's not good to lay down on your back. So we're gonna do standing stretches, which is great. We need a <coughs> good alternative. Switch legs, switch arms. Woo, I need some water. How about y'all? <laughs> Oh, inhale, exhale. Try to slow down that breath. All right, I'm putting all my weight on my left leg, putting my right heel in front and shifting my weight back. So I'm stretching actually, got a little more, maybe some strength work in this back leg, but a good hamstring stretch in this front one. Just keep that back nice and flat and then hinge a little more. Now you can go ahead and drop that foot down and then Kind of come down and roll all the way up and we'll switch sides. Other leg in front, push the hips to the back. Good, that looks great. Now drop that front of the foot down, lower a little more, drop all the way down and come up. 
When you get to the top, good side stretches to each side. So squeeze the glutes before you take your side stretch. You wanna reach up and then over. Let's do it one more time. Up and then over and up and then over. Now we're gonna go into our chest and back. So open and round. Again, open and round. And then open and put your hands on your hips and pull those elbows back and down. Just kind of really stretching the chest. Release it, crossing right over left. Take an inhale, pull the arm over toward the right side. So we stretch the IT band right here. Now down in front, stretching the psoas. If you're ever dizzy when you get to this position, just come right out of it. Don't stay upside down unless you're seated. Okay, coming all the way up, switch legs. Inhale, exhale, pull over. Stretching down the outside of that body, so straight over to the side, and then down in front, stretching the psoas. You're going to feel it. That's, that muscle's right at the hip. You're also going to feel it in your lower back. And then come on up, all the way up. And we're going to take one more inhale and exhale. Nice job. You guys were awesome. Thanks, Pam. You are welcome, Walt.